Get the Austin Edge. Live and local. Good day, Austin. Cosmetic, cosmetic right. All right, 721 now. Welcome back. Well, the question is, are women with breast implants more at risk for breast cancer? Well, joining us this morning is Dr. Jennifer Walden. She's a plastic and reconstructive surgeon. It's good to see you, doctor. Thanks Thank so much for so being much. with us. Do you get this question a lot? I get it all the time in almost every consultation. Actually. Why do they think that they're more at risk for breast cancer? I they? think in the past there are a lot of myths that need to be dispelled. And actually women that have implants are at the same risk for breast cancer as women without implants. They have a similar stage of diagnosis, comparable prognosis, and similar rates of recurrence. Gotcha. Okay. So that's interesting because some people would say, I mean, why do you think that they have that I mean, just because there are myths out there? Right. Or, or and there, there are some things that can impair mammography. Very large implants placed under the gland and not under the muscle. Um, thin tissues that atrophy. But now we have a couple of extra views we do with mammography okay. to see the breast tissue. Digital mammography and even MRI to delineate very small lesions in women that have implants. Mm -hmm. So we can see breast tissue well in women with breast right. implants these days. So I guess it's confirmed that it's not that they cause breast cancer, but do you see, is there any way to measure if we see more incidence of breast cancer with women with implants or right. not? There, okay. there are a lot of well-defined studies in the scientific literature that measured the incidence of breast cancer in women that are augmented and non-augmented, and they did find that there's no increased incidence of breast cancer, i.e. there's no link of implants with breast cancer. Women with breast implants actually can sometimes have an easier time feeling palpable lesions because the mass can act as it's raised up on the implant, and the implant can act as a platform to feel a palpable mass. Interesting, because yeah, the doctor brought along an implant here. So if you had some kind of growth, I guess, underneath, uh -huh. you'd be able to feel that? In well, a way? the growth usually happened in the breast tissue, obviously, yeah. in breast cancer. And the breast tissue is always going to be over the breast implant. And gotcha. so sometimes palpable lesions can actually oh, be gotcha. felt easier when the implant is in place. Rather than a deep lesion in a woman with very dense, heavy breasts, mm -hmm. that's not even going to be palpable. That's right. going to be only visualized on breast imaging. That's really interesting. So um, I guess, you know, you advise people to get a mammogram once they're 40, right, even if they right. have implants. Right. The American Cancer Society guidelines remain the same for women with implants as without. Um, that is, start mammography at age 40, and the mammographer should know that you have implants, where the implants are placed, are they under the gland or under the muscle, and then the mammographer will do two extra views right. and make it a diagnostic mammography instead of a screening mammography. And that pushes the implant against the chest wall so we can squeeze that breast tissue and see the lesions in the breast tissue. Now, obviously, if you're diagnosed with breast cancer, you're going to have the implants removed, right? If you're diagnosed with breast cancer, not necessarily. You may okay. undergo either a partial mastectomy or a lumpectomy, total mastectomy. Um, the implant may be exchanged to a different location or different type of implant, but a woman who has a breast implant may be able to keep that implant mm. in part of her reconstructive algorithm. Sure. Well, while you have the implant here, how safe are they, are they these days? These are very safe. There are a lot of um, medical studies. It's the most studied prosthetic in the world of medicine, basically, because it received so much media attention. Right. But silicone implants these days are very safe because they have a cohesive gel and a barrier layer to the shell. So there's low rates of rupture and low rates of leaking into the tissues, which yeah. is what caused the problems in the, like the 80s and the 90s. Right. All right, Dr. Walton, thanks so much. We appreciate Thank it. Thank you Some so good much. Info. Appreciate it. All right, still ahead. We're going to... Check back in with Zach, talk about the weather. Also, John Walsh gives us a preview of tomorrow night's special episode of America's Most Wanted. You don't want to miss that.